This is uh, Cameron for Tweaktown. We're here at uh, Thank You Event in Taipei where they're um, announcing, releasing two brand new NASAs. You can see, me, see them here. This is the N2520 and the N4520. It's two bay and a four bay NAS. Um, some of the features here, as you can see, it uses the world's first Intel Atom SOC. Uh, five minute complete installation, ultra energy efficient, quick NAS accessibility with client utility, easy connection through DDNS, auto flashback photo gallery. So what I do want to do quickly is show you the hardware. Um, and we can have, first of all, we'll have a look at the N2520. This is the unit here. As you can see, it's a two bay unit, white, very sleek looking. You have some uh, thickest logo here. Lit up the uh, LEDs here on the front. Um, and then this power button, that's a USB 3 port. Nothing too much on this side. And then we push this button here, and you can get access to the inside where the hard drives are installed, or SSDs if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, I believe it's just a standard SATA connection. At the moment there's one hard drive installed in there. Um, it's a very sleek looking unit. It's actually very light as well. I can easily pick it up with one hand, no problems. Um, now coming around to the back of the unit, um, what we've got here is, well, of course you've got a LAN port, you have two USB 2.0 ports, this is SPDIF, this is uh, optical audio out, as well as HDMI, so the big thing that Thickus has been going for a little while now is um, improving the NAS units and having the ability, ability to use, use your NAS not only as typical network storage, but also to playback media on your TV. And of course this unit looks really nice, it's not going to have any issues looking nice next to your TV in your lounge room. Now, the second one is the N4520. Um, more of the traditional design that we see from Thikus, 4 bay unit, um, this one's not powered on, but the LEDs here, USB, USB 3.0, power, uh, some extra controls here for the on-screen um, display that controls some of the settings. Okay, so that's a look at the, that's a look at the two units. Now we're going to cut the video and then we're going to look at some new software that Thikus has recently introduced. This is the Thikus Intelligent NAS software. This is a, a software application for Windows and uh, Mac, I believe, as well. Uh, it will be coming out in April. So this is just an early look at the software so far. It looks pretty polished so far, but there will be some changes, so keep that in mind. So the first screen here, um, you can see here, do you remember this story from two years ago? It will, it will show pictures uh, from certain times based on the date. So, you know, it's an ongoing... Uh, uh, utility, it's called Auto Flashback Photo Gallery, which is kind of cool. And on the, on the, on the right here, there's a pie chart which gives you details on what's stored on the NAS, how much free space. Alright, so then we go to the next screen. This one shows the current network device, what's uh, the activity, what, what's uh, happening with the device. And you can see the ongoing download tasks here. And if we, were, if we had a, a copy task going at the moment, it would show it in real time here, the progress of the, of the copy. Now the next one is, uh, this is just this is just like a log of the recent activities, you can see here, it gives you a nice uh, simple interface, it looks good. Um, this one here, this screen, you can change some of the settings, uh, the theme, the language. Again, this is, this is still early, this software, I think it does have some things to add, so keep that in mind. Um, now this one here, this is just shortcuts to some applications on the, on the internet, such as Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you know that one. And there will be some more added here as well. This one here, this is the, this is the download tab. This is for BitTorrent, so you can easily add a, a torrent file. Uh, you can open the file. You can also um, start and stop uh, the, the torrent file as well. Um, and then over to the Manage and Share tab. This is basically uh, uh, like an explorer of the content on the NAS. So if we open one of these files, um, we can open the file. If you click that, and then you get some pretty girls, of course. As you do, uh, then we can close that. We'll try and get back to it. Okay, but then you can also, if you right click on it, you can go share file and post it directly to Facebook. Um, Thikus will also add Twitter and some other networks on there as well in the future. So this has been a look at the intelligent NAS software as well as the two new um, NAS devices from Thikus, the N2520 and the N4520 and the new software that will be coming out around April.